Hello and welcome to a brief tutorial on Linguafolio from the teacher's perspective. In this tutorial we'll be discussing how to create a new user, how to create a class, how to create new student accounts as a teacher, assigning can-do statements, and utilizing the assignments feature. So first thing we're going to do is click on the sign up button and then teacher, create a new group because we're at the University of Oregon, we're going to select the United States of America, Oregon, and then College or University. Uh, some people at the University of Oregon have already created an account, so that means we just use theirs. Otherwise, we would be able to click Other and then create a new college. But for this scenario, we're just using University of Oregon. For the name of the group, we're going to be calling ourselves Video Group. Um, and then language, we'll be doing Spanish. And we just want to make sure I click the drop down option. Just like they say. And then from here, you'll want to fill out all of your personal information. I'm going to skip ahead. But this is just standard information here. Now that we've created our account, from here we're able to start making more groups and information. So first things first, we're going to create our own class. So for this, we're going to click the add new group. Uh, generally, your account is create your account generates a class by default. But for this scenario, instead of class for video teacher, we're going to go ahead and call ourselves um, Spanish two. So for this, just type Spanish 2, and then language, Spanish once again, still be sure to click the drop down option, and then we don't really need a description or contact info, but if you'd like, feel free to add that, then we join up, and this is very important information to hold on to, we're going to be able to see it again down here. But the learner join codes will enable students to be able to join your group. Um, this is specifically useful for college situations where uh, the college students may sign up on their own. Um, but in a minute here, we're going to see how teachers can add students because especially for the uh, K-12 crowd, it can be a lot easier to uh, create accounts for your students. And then for the instructor join codes, if you have either co-teachers or student teachers, this is very uh, important to help bring other teachers into your class. But for right now, we're just going to click finish. Now that we've created our new class, we want to go ahead and add a new student. From here, you're able to either upload a group of students using our batch upload feature. Um, and if we were to click that, we can see what language would be the default for them and which group we want to add them to specifically. Um, and we also have a full template here if you want to download that and import that into Microsoft Excel or something. Um, but for this example, we're just going to create a single student. So here we'll call them video student. And this will search our database to see if they exist already. Um, and if they don't, then we'll end up creating the student. So because we have made a video student before, uh, we would go ahead and create them, or we can click save. Um, but for now, we're going to call them, um, how about Drew Student? And here we can fill out their name and information. Um, especially for K-12, you don't need to fill out any specific name. Um, you can't have it blank, but first names are totally acceptable and they can be repeated with other users. It's not like a username where it has to be particular to the individual. Uh, we'll write up a quick password. And then email. It's important to note that the email can be the same as the teachers. So you can have 30 students that use the same email account as the teacher in the event that they uh, for like K-12, some of the younger students may have trouble with remembering their passwords and having the recovery email sent to the teacher can be very helpful. So 
just like in that scenario, we're just going to use info at uoregon.edu. Because we're teaching Spanish, we'll select Spanish and then save. And now Drew, the student, has joined a group. And now that we have a class, and now that we have a student, we want to make sure to start making can-do statements for them to work with. They are able to use all of the defaults, but for this example, we're going to be making uh, some custom ones. So we want to click this three lines up in the top right corner, and then click can-do clusters. That'll bring us to this new page. We currently have no can-do clusters created, um, and so we're going to select this create new can do cluster. Uh, name, we'll call it Spanish to materials. We'll select the start date of June 26th and an end date of uh, July 31st. If we'd like to color code it, we are able to select from this drop down. You can be as experimental with you as you want with these, but for now, we'll just use green. And then we click create. And now we have just the basic group with no particular information added to it. So from there, we want to click this little zero with the little box and arrow in it. Select that. And here is where we get to select all of our can do statements. These are all pulled from the Necessful Actful um, group that is fully available online, if you would like to read more about them. But for now, we're just going to select a few of the novice low options, and a custom learning target of, I can say hello online, and we'll click save. Now these are all of the pre-made can-do statements, as well as the custom one we made. And th as you can see, there are several different ones. Um, novice, low, medium, and high. If we click medium, we go to the mid. Uh, if we go to low, it jumps us back up to low. And this goes for all different situations. So if we want to go to uh, spoken, um, conversation or if we want to go to interculturality we're able to select so many different can do statements but for now we only want the four for interpersonal communication speaking listening and signing now that that's done though we want to go back to the can do clusters and we can see we have a four next to this instead of a zero and for assign to group we want to click this little pencil and we want to assign it to Spanish 2 and then check that off and assuming we wanted to assign the uh, the same group to the class for video teacher we would simply click assign existing can do to another group and it auto populates to the only option we have left and then we click the check and then it's assigned to both now if we go back to the home We can see down here, can do clusters. And now that we've got our can do statements assigned, we can go back up to the top, click the three lines again, and now we're going to go ahead and click assignments. Now, assignments in Lingua Folio are not like how they typically are in a classroom setting, like a worksheet or something along those lines. Um, it's more so guiding the student to use a specific set of can-do statements uh, over the course of a week or a day or even like the weekend. So for this scenario, we're going to go ahead and click create new assignment. Type in Spanish to intro assignment. Description, introduce yourself and your favorite activity. Uh, we're going to make the start date today and the end date mm -hmm. go into next month Friday the 3rd. 
And then because we like the color code, we'll select blue and then create. This works very similar to how the candy statements work, where we can do select or edit candy statements as here. And then once again, we can select what we like to um, have the students be doing. And as I said in the uh, information on the assignment, we want to introduce ourselves and say our favorite weekend activity. Just like before, go back up and manage assignments. We can see these target can do statements are back and populated in there. Now we want to do assign to group, change it over to Spanish 2, and click OK. Now we have our assignment created. So if we go back to the home screen, ah, and then we want to make sure we're on the Spanish 2 tab. We can see our new assignment. And that's everything for the introduction to Linguafolio tutorial from the teacher's perspective. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email us at lfolio at uoregon.edu. Or if you're interested, we also have another tutorial av available for the student's perspective if you'd like to watch that. And we will be linking that in the page below. Thank you very much for watching.